The start of the COVID-19 vaccine rollout is just weeks away, but some medical experts have raised concerns we might be too reliant on one vaccine. There are questions over whether the AstraZeneca Oxford shot is effective enough to achieve what's known as herd immunity and slow the spread of coronavirus. But the federal government and a number of medical groups have defended the choice of vaccine. They say it'll save lives and that critics don't have the information available to the regulator. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has the story. Around the world, the race is on to get COVID vaccines to as many people as possible. The Oxford AstraZeneca COVID vaccine is safe and effective. But some medical experts said Australia may be too reliant on the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Because it does appear to have this lower efficacy, um, is whether or not it will lead to herd immunity, um, which is the prevention of transmission. Um, and so that, that's the sort of question. We don't believe, based on our current data that was released um, by AstraZeneca at the end of December, that 62% is going to be adequate. In the largest trial to date, that vaccine was 90% effective in volunteers who were given a low dose first, followed by a high dose. In those given two high doses, effectiveness was 62%. Overall, it's considered about 70% effective. But experts say those lower figures may not be enough to achieve what's known as herd immunity, when the majority of the community can resist the virus. would mean you'd need to vaccinate every single person in Australia with that vaccine to even get close to herd immunity. The most vulnerable people in Australia, such as the elderly, will get the more effective Pfizer vaccine. Looking at how we might acquire more doses of these more novel vaccines is worthwhile. The rest will get the one developed by AstraZeneca. I think it's essential that we all wait and see what AstraZeneca report in their latest trials. And while there's no question about vaccine safety, some experts are worried the debate might make more people reluctant to get immunised. We already have vaccines that have varying levels of effectiveness in them. So, for example, the flu vaccine. Seasonally, our flu vaccine may have effectiveness that could average around 50%. The federal government says 10 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine was all it was offered by the manufacturers. The choice is not whether one is better than, than the other. It's which one is available to give the maximum rollout of vaccine to save lives and to protect lives um, this year. And the answer to that is the one we can make here. The federal government doesn't appear to be aiming for herd immunity in its vaccine strategy at the moment. Instead, it has as much of a vaccine as possible, which will stop people getting sick from COVID. And that's important given case numbers can change quickly, as we've seen in the last few weeks. Sophie Scott, ABC News.